Yesterday, I reported that the first Challenger 2 got destroyed. Well, we actually now have the footage of the tank getting hit and destroyed. The video was published by the Russians and stated that the Cornet missile was used. First, let's analyze the video and see if this actually is the Challenger 2 that got hit, or is it something else that they are trying to push as the Challenger. They do show the wreck from the drone in the second half of the video, and based on the surroundings and comparing all three different points of view, I can say with pretty good certainty that they are telling the truth. First, we can see the destroyed vehicles to the right of the tank, just like in the drone footage. Next, if we look into the distance, we can see the knocked out T-64 tank that we saw in the original video, as well as the unidentified vehicle in front of it, as well as this vehicle in the very right that is away from the road. So yes, this is it. This is the video of Challenger 2 getting destroyed. But it seems like the tank was already abandoned when it got hit. We can see in the video that it is not moving and there is no movement around it at all, which could suggest that the battle already took place before the tank was completely destroyed. Now, prior to this video going live, BBC did publish a report which stated that the tank ran over a mine, was abandoned by the crew and was then hit by a lancet and destroyed. Russians say that they were targeting the area with artillery and then finished up the tank with the cornet. It could be possible that an artillery hit immobilized the tank, it could have also been a mine, I'm not excluding that. Then the crew got away and then Russians hit it with a cornet, where a cornet was mistaken for a lancet because of its size, and it also being a smokeless ATGM. We know it is not a lancet for two reasons, first being that it would be very much visible in the video since it is slower than an ATGM and white. And second reason is that we would have gotten a video from the Lancet hitting the tank, because Russians always post those online, whether they do anything or not. But we didn't get it. And the worst part about all of this is that it seems that the Challenger 2 actually did pop the turret. If we analyze the videos, we can see that the turret cheeks are hanging over the side of the tank, and the turret bustle is pretty much in line with the side of the hull. This is not how it should look like on the Challenger 2. Turret cheeks on the Challenger 2 are the ones that are supposed to be in line with the side of the hull, and the bustle is supposed to be protruding quite a bit when the turret is turned to the side. Neither is the case here, it's quite the contrary. This could be the result of Amorag detonation, which should not be a surprise to anyone who has watched my previous video. To sum it up, Challenger 2 has no blowout panels or blast doors like Abrams, Leopard 2 or Leclerc, but rather has ammo placed all over the hull in protective containers which only protect against light fragments. It can pop a turret just like the Russian tanks can and the only Challenger 2 that was destroyed prior to this, by friendly fire, was an example of that. It also suffered a catastrophic detonation. Another evidence of the ammo blowing something off is the fact that the entire commander's cupola is missing. It got blown out by the explosion. The commander's cupola on Challenger 2 is a separate piece and is quite big when compared to other NATO tanks. The fact that it got launched out is another showcase of the violent explosion taking place. But if the reports are correct, the crew is thankfully safe so that is a good thing. Who cares if the ammo exploded or burned? The tank is done for, either way. While editing this video, I found another image which shows the tank from the top, and it is pretty visible that the turret is blown off, considering the fact that you can partially see the hole where the turret is supposed to be sitting. That would be all for now. If we get any updates, I will let you know. If you like my content, you can support me on Patreon. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day.